so welcome back to Diva Doll Flawless. I'm just going to jump right in with this haul because um, there's kind of a lot and I don't want the video to be that long for a haul. So um, I went to Bath and Body Works and I picked up this French Lavender Honey perfume. The cashier pretty much um, told me about it and it really does smell like like uh lavender and honey so supposedly it has i forget what kind of formula she was saying but it, it's supposed to last really long like a um perfume i picked up some of the coconut leaves candles and they the notes on this one is juicy tangerine and papaya with soothing coconut notes inside of it and if you do not um, have the coconut leaves candle hands down that will be my recommendation going for, for spring into summer um, and I think that's everything that I got from Bath and Body Works now from Ulta I just uh, did a little drugstore haul and they had the their Maybelline was buy one get one fifty percent off, so that's why I got that got these things from Ulta because Rite Aid doesn't actually start until tomorrow. Um, I picked up the Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser, and I've been interested in trying this out. Been hearing some good things about it, so I decided that I will go ahead and try it. And of course, it was on sale, so why not? Also from Maybelline, I picked up the clear mascara um, for my brows, which now I don't even know why I got it because of the simple fact that I did get my Anastasia Beverly Hills Detinted Brow Gel. This one is actually in blonde and I finally <laughs> have the perfect combination for my eyebrows and it's this, it's this brow gel topped on top of the um Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade and the one that I use is Auburn which is like a reddish color and then I um outline with the dark brown and then I go over it with the blonde and it gives me the perfect uh eyebrow color because if you can tell my hair is actually a mixture of two colors if you if this isn't your first time watching me, then my hair is technically dyed, well, bleached a, plat a platinum blonde. Well, when I start to grow it out and it's time to color it, lately what I've been doing is going in with the one and only Argan Oil hair color. And that's 9G. And it's like a reddish um, type of blonde. So my roots are like a um, dark type of dirty blonde and then the tips of my hair are still that bleach blonde and that's actually what I've been liking and I like the two con the contrast of the two blondes it just gives my um haircut even though my hair is super short it still allows it to have a little bit of um texture and uh interest to it so to speak also from Alta. I picked up some lashes by Ardell. A lot of their lashes were on sale and these were um, $2.99. So I got the 402 Edgies and um, I got a couple pair of that one. I honestly have not worn lashes outside of the tutorial that I just posted. I haven't worn lashes in like a long time so now I'm trying to get myself back into them. And I stopped wearing them because it's just more of a hassle for me. See, popping them on for a client or someone else is nothing. But when I have to do it myself, my own eyelashes are so long that I just don't even like bothering with them. But now I'm trying to get back into wearing them. So I've been kind of forcing myself to wear them the past couple of days. The ones I'm wearing today are from Kiss. And they're the Look So Natural ones. And they are the KFL ones. So... That's what I'm wearing today. They're the the shy, the kiss shy lashes. But they're the ones that supposedly like feather like. 
The next store I went to was Deb and I wanted to stop in there because they were having a clearance sale where all of their shirts were buy one get one free and their jewelry was on BOGO as well. So the accessories that I picked up were this necklace right here that I just, I, oh, I love this. And then I picked up this um, bracelet that I just thought was so cute. And it just has like the little stones all over the heart. So I thought that was like so pretty. That's the bracelet up close. And then here's the necklace up close. Now, as far as the shirts go, I just picked up some things that could transition into spring. Um, so I got this cute turquoise sweater and I loved it because it has this flowery um, design on the front of it. And then I picked up this shirt. I actually got another one of that really really light sweater and again this one just has the flowers all over the um it's pretty much like on the shoulders and the very front of the sweater and then I picked up this nice sweater and all of these sweaters are really 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 light like super light that's the front and then here is the back and then I just had to get these two sweatshirts because I thought they were so adorable the first one is this orange one and then this lime yellow one neon yellow Now, y'all know this is something that I would end up making myself, which you definitely could. Like, this was just so cute. I couldn't pass those up. All right, love. So, the last stop for this haul was Target. And I picked up the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. And this one is in Radiant Glow. I'm thinking about mixing this in with a little bit of my Kat Von D foundation to see, you know, how I like that. I picked up the e.l.f. Concealer Brush. And I like it because it's really small and um, has a nice fine tip on it, really for my eyebrows. I really like the tip on this brush. And then, I, I hadn't seen this brush before, but it's the Flawless Concealer Brush from e.l.f. And um, had I seen another, I actually would have gotten it. Um... Yeah, so this would be to blend your concealer on or out under the under eye area. And I'm always interested in brushes like this. So again, this is the Flawless Concealer Brush and this was at Target. So if I see another one, I will be getting a backup and I need to get one for my sister. Now, I did get the cosmetic wedges. These are the latex free um, foam wedges. And I like these for like really quick if I'm setting my under eye um concealer with powder and I don't feel like having to wash brushes or even if I'm doing like a cream uh product with a contour sometimes I'll use these again so that I don't have to um dirty up a brush or if I'm just doing like a quick touch up you know these are always these are definitely oldie goodies and definitely always a good thing to have around and plus they're like super cheap so if you don't have makeup brush um makeup beauty blenders these latex they work just as fine for applying your foundation and everything and then I also picked up the baby lips doctor rescue this medicated lip balm 
and you guys know I have to get my chapstick collection back together because my daughters destroyed every one that I had which were the EOS lip balms and then I'm gonna get a close-up on these two nail polishes this one right here so gorgeous I will be applying this to my nails tonight this one is from the Maybelline color show this is called gilded rose and I'm almost wondering if I have this one already now. And then the next one I got is Diamond in the Rough. Now I think I have this one. But if I do I'll just give it to my sister. And I love these color show nail polishes. Because they have some amazing colors. But they're really really cheap. Alright y'all so that pretty much wraps up my haul. Um, I forgot to mention this ring you guys have been seeing it in my past couple of videos i absolutely love it i purchased it from forever 21 my earrings are from forever 21 which i hold maybe i don't even know how many videos back and um my sweatshirt is actually from what is this ross yeah i think ross and i know i hold this a couple of videos back as well but that's it. I hope you dolls saw something that interested you. And as always, and until next time, have a gorgeous day, dolls. Smooches. Bye.